Woodpecker for email marketing complete tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use woodpecker.ko for our cold emails. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these tabs. I do to not make any mistakes. So here we are on their home page and if you click on get free trial, we'll have to create an account and we'll get like 7 day free trial. Uh, already I have an account, so here we are on our home page. It will be easy for you to registrate. And let's have a quick tour. As you can see in the top of the screen, we have like some folders with campaign, prospects, deliverability, inbox and templates. Basically from the campaigns folder, we can manage all the campaigns we have. We can easily create one. We can find all the statistics, for example, about prospects, delivered emails, opened and responded. On the prospect area, we can manage all the information we have about our audience, about our customers. So we can easily add prospects. If you click here, we can import, uh, we can manually uh, add manually or like uh, from integration. So if you click, we can find that there are a lot of uh, like different apps integrated into Woodpecker, like HubSpot, Pipedrive, Zoho, WordPress and so on. So it will be easy for us to interact with like a different services we already maybe use for our business. In the deliverability, we can find that the charts are displayed when you are sent an email to at least a few prospects. There are a graphical representation on how your campaign are performing. Basically, on this folder here, we can easily find all the information, all the stats about our campaigns. In the inbox area, we can add an email account to manage all replies from one place. Easily mark the interest level, forward reply or create a new message to a podcast. It's pretty cool. And from the templates folder, we can easily create an email template. Let's try to create a campaign by our own. So let's go to uh, campaigns folder and we'll click on add a campaign. So firstly, we need to add an email we are going to uh, use. Uh, so we'll send from the email. So let's click on connect and we can choose your email provider. We are going to use the Gmail, basically one of my uh, Gmails here. I'm going to click on yes. And in a few seconds, everything is uh, done. And basically we'll have to uh, set up. All we need to do is just to wait for a little until all the uh, like stuff is done. So we came back to this page and as you can see now we have a sender here. We need to also add the campaign name, let it be C1, campaign one. If we'll scroll down, we can find the path. So we need to schedule, add condition and email. Basically here we can set up some rules we are going to I use so let's click on schedule start campaign no sooner than let's click a date let's choose like the not today let it be tomorrow and also we can add a condition so if we have like some rules we won't uh, send this email or will not so yeah let's delete this thing here uh, basically if you have some triggers or something like that you can do it like this so also we can click on add a step and here we need to add our email basically. So we need to choose a subject, leave the subject blank to follow up in the same thread. Let it be like the subject like hello to uh, my channel, let it be like this. And here we can add an, the text we would like to use. So basically we can easily input like something like this. Uh, thanks for subscription maybe it's like message for our channel subscribers or something like this so basically uh, it's um, this is a way of how can we interact with uh, the uh, mail we are going to send so we can make it bold italic there are a lot of different uh, styles as you can see we can also add like uh, different images uh, we can add the calendar link like snippets templates we can if we click on templates uh, we can try to find something here if you already added it or not. We can easily add like images from our computer or through the link. So it's really pretty cool. And also we can turn off open tracking. I'm going to turn it, turn it on because uh, we want to track as more information as possible. I think it's pretty cool. 
as you can see in the right side we can change the time we are going to like uh, send as you can see like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday not instead of like weekdays so basically we can also send a test email and we can spam check this email and the last step we can do is just to delete in the like uh also we can add some more condition that add some more step so in this case we it's easy for us to build like different schemas we we are going to use to interact with uh, our customer with our audience so i think it's pretty cool the second prospect is right up here so let's click uh we can like add uh the guys we want to share this email with we can add them from file from database from integration or manually uh, basically from file if you click from file we can drop it right up here there are a lot of different formats like csv xls xls x and so on in this case we can easily interact we can also that uh, add them from database from integrations and manually and in summary area we can find like all these tiles as you can see sent from uh, email here these tabs here we have like emails with two emails it's not the a b test and the prospects there are no prospects in this campaign because we didn't add and the schedule of this campaign starts no sooner than on 6th of may so basically now we can easily click on run or preview uh, if you want to view how does it look like we can easily click on preview but let's click on run and now everything is done basically but we have to fill this uh like fields here to make it easier to interact so basically our campaign after that was successfully created and as you can see now we have it right up here we can find the information uh, with like prospects delivered open responded or we can uh, come back to editing this campaign and basically this is a way of how can we interact with com uh, mail campaigns on woodpecker uh, if you're going to discover their prices, we can find that we have like cold email plan with like $49 per month. We can pay monthly or annually. If annually, we have like only $40 per month. So basically, it also depends on the number of users as, more, as much as you have. So if you have a lot of uh, users, contacts you want to contact, basically you have to pay more. The unlimited number of contacts will cost like $59. And we can also like turn on the options for A-B testing or API case integration. It also will increase the price. So the maximum price is like $64 per month. I think it's cool that we can discover it by our own for free. And after that, we can decide is it necessary as for us to buy a paid plan. So this is a way of how can we use Woodpecker for uh, email marketing. Hope guys this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. See ya!